السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک ٹو یور بردرس اینڈ سسٹرس الحمد للہ ان اور پریویس سیشن وی فنشڈ اور لیسن نمبر فورٹین فرام مدینہ بک ون اینڈ ان شاء اللہ ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اور لیسن نمبر ففٹین وچ ٹیچرس از اباؤٹ یوزنگ فیمین آئی ناؤنس اینڈ ورڈس ان شاء اللہ سو ایز یوزول بفور وی پروسیڈ وی گوئنگ ٹو پریکٹس اور پرو ناؤنس سو واٹ آر دیز دیز آر دمیر ان منفصل ان ڈیٹیچڈ پرو ناؤنس سو وی نو دیز آر مرفو فارمس آف پرو ناؤن سو دے کم ایز مبتدا موسٹ آف دا ٹائم ان جملت الاسمی ہے سو واٹ آر دیز ہوا ہما ہم ہی ہما ہن انت انتما انتم انتی انتما انتن انا نہنو دین وی ہیو دمیر ان متصل ان اٹس اٹیچڈ پرو ناؤنس سو دیز دا پرو ناؤنس وچ اٹیچ دیم سیلس ٹو ادر ناؤن اور ٹو اے ہرف چر اور ٹو اے ظرف اور ٹو اے ورب سو وین دے آر اٹیچ ٹو اے ناؤن ہرف چر اور اے ظرف دین دے آر مجرور اینڈ وین دے آر اٹیچ ٹو اے ورب دین دے آر منسوب سو وی نو سو واٹ آر دیز فارمس ہو ہما ہم ہا ہما ہن کا کما کم کی کما کن ہی نا سو دین وی ہیو ٹو پریکٹس اے ورب سو وی گوئنگ ٹو جسٹ انالائز and uh, get comfortable with uh, knowing fa'il and fa'il so the verb zahaba so in a pure form it's a three letter verb so there is nothing attached to the verb then the fa'il is detached so we have to look for the fa'il in a sentence when there is a sign of marfu that is dhamma so we know that is a fa'il if we don't see then we consider it as mustatir and it represents huwa and same thing for zahabat So we have to look for the file because file is detached. This ta is ta ta ni si. In rest all the forms of the file, the file is attached to the verb. So we don't look for the file. So we know the file is attached. And it is a pronoun. So we have to uh, look for the main subject what this pronoun is representing. In the sentence or in the paragraph. So zahaba, zahaba, zahabu, zahabat, zahabata. So here the alif is alif musanna, wow it represents the jama'u muzakkir and this alif is uh, alif musanna, this ta'u ta'nisi, this noon is noon niswa, represents all those women, ta is the file, it is called mutaharrik pronouns because the pronoun is produced, the sound of the pronoun anta, this ta is produced, the sound of ta is produced, so same thing here. ذہب تما ذہب تم ذہب تی ذہب تما ذہب تنا ذہب تو ذہب نا سو دیس آر دا ورڈس فیل اینڈ فائل سو واٹ وی لک فار سو کمنگ ٹو کنورزیشن سو ہیئر وی گوٹ الفتیاتو فتیاتو از پلورل فار فتاتن مینس ینگ لیڈی اینڈ الفتیاتو مینس ینگ لیڈیز دا ینگ لیڈیز دے سینگ السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ زینب ہوم دی شی از بینگ اڈریسڈ وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو وی انالائز دیز سیلوٹیشن ان اور پریویس سیشن سو وی نو اباؤٹ دس از مداف مداف علیہ ان از مبتدہ مؤخر اینڈ خبر مقدم سو من انتنا سو انتنا از فیمینائن ان فرنٹ آف یو آل دا فیمیل سیسز من انتنا ہو آر یو یا اخواتو او سسٹرس اخواتو از پلورل فار اخت So, antunna, if it was uh, masculine, we would say man antum ya ikhwanu or ya ikhwatu. So, if it is feminine, we say man antunna. So, they are ihdahunna. So, one of them. So, one of those ladies, al-fatayatu, now we are using a pronoun for them. Ihdahunna, one of them. So, ihda is a feminine form of one. So, what is uh, in previous session, in uh, lesson number 14, we did ahaduhum. Ahaduhum is one of them. It is for masculine. And ihdahunna is a feminine form. So, how it is written? Ihda is written with alif maksura. So, we, we know the noun which ends alif maksura most of the time is feminine. Plus, a pronoun attached is ihdahunna. Is the alif maksura becomes a mad. And this is how it is written. Ihdahunna is this. مداف اینڈ مداف الہی ون آف دیم جسے سے نہنو بنا تو شیخ عباس ان سو ہاؤ ڈو انالائز نہنو از مبتدہ بنا تو ون ورڈ خبر وہ مداف 
and a shaykh who is mudaf ilayhi so what is abbasin abbasin is referring to shaykh so it is interchangeable so we can say nahnu banatu abbasin or nahnu banatu shaykh so these two are interchangeable now so this is called badal abbasin is badal so zainab is telling ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban welcome so we're going to analyze this in book 3 inshallah so at the moment we just have to translate it as welcome ummu kunna ummu is mother so again we have here compound is ummu kunna ustazati your mother this ummu is mudaf and kunna is mudaf ilay mother of yours so we will translate as your mother ustazati so again here is my teacher so ustazatu plus ya mutakallim mudaf ilayhi ustazati kayfa haluha how is she so one of the says hiya bi khair walhamdulillah so whenever you ask about a wellness kayfa haluha condition say bi khair walhamdulillah zaina bi selling aina hiya al an where is she at the moment ah ihdahunna one of them says hiya al an fi ar riyad hiya mubtada al an zarf and fi ar riyad harf jar ism majroor so we know fi ar riyadi so even if there is no sign we know it is fi ar riyadi so when we end so we say fi ar riyad so zainab is asking mata zahabat when did she go zahabat so we are asking about feminine so feminine verbs so ihdahunna so one of them says zahabat qabla usbu'in she went so even if there is no vowel sign so we know it is not zahabta zahabti because that doesn't make sense so when we are answering so is is asking about hiya so hiya means zahabat this tau tani si we to look for the file we don't see file so we say mustati taqdiruhu hiya and that hiya represents to goes to ummu qabla usbuin qabla is zarf usbuin is mudaf ilayhi she went before a week usbu means week usbu before one week zainab man zahaba ma'aha who man means who zahaba went who went ma'aha with her so ma'a is zarf ha is mudaf ilayhi so man zahaba who went with her so ihda hun one says zahaba so now this is a jumlatul fa'liya so what are we looking for a fa'il and fa'il so this is a masculine verb because it is in three letter form the fa'il is not attached so it is a fa'il so what we're looking we're looking for a fa'il so we have to look in the sentence where is the sign of marfu so zahaba ma'aha ma'a is a zarf so that cannot be a fa'il ha is mudaf ilayhi went with her so we are still looking who went with her so we don't know so we see here akhu na so akhu is min al asma ul khamsa so these are special nouns we know the sign of marfu is al waw so this waw tells us this is marfu so this is the fa'il akhu wa huwa mudaf and mudaf ilayhi so who went our brother went with her so this is how we translate so whenever we are translating verbal sentence we will always bring the fa'il first and then the fa'il so but when we write in arabic it is always fa'il and fa'il in english when we translate it is always fa'il and fa'il so who is the fa'il here brother of ours so we say our brother went so but still we got here another noun called ibrahim with dhamma so what is this so this is a badal for akhu so we say our brother ibrahim went with her so this is how we translate and understand so this is fa'il and this is fa'il and ibrahim is badal for akhu kayfa halukunna halukunna means if it is ka it is in front of you ka kuma kum ki kuma kunna kunna is antunna so in front of you all the women when you ask kayfa halukunna how are you so ihdahunna one of this is nahnu so when it asks to a group we say nahnu we are bi khair walhamdulillah see again bi khair always followed with walhamdulillah so always praise allah so you are fine zainab fi ayyi madrasatin antunna so in which so ayyi we know we did in the last session 
which and what comes after i is always mudaf ilayhi is ayu is always comes as a mudaf fi ayyi madrasatin in which madrasa antunna or you so ihdahun eh, one says nahnu again antunna means we will say nahnu if it is anta we say ana is antunna nahnu nahnu fil madrasatil mutawassitati so al mutawassitati is naat so we translate is middle we are in middle school zainab mata ikhtibar kunna ikhtibar means examination ikhtibar so when mata is when is your kunna means your when is your examination so ikhtibaru is mudaf and kunna is mudaf ilayhi so ihda hunna says ikhtibaruna so we have to use a attached pronoun for nahnu so nahnu is na so we, this na is attached so we have ikhtibaru is mudaf and na is mudaf ilayhi our examination ba'da shahrin ba'da is zarf and what comes after zarf is mudaf ilayhi is shahrin after a month shahr means month after a month so zainab is asking azhabtunna see zahabtunna so this is a mutaharrik pronoun antunna in front of you women so so when uh, a mutaharrik pronoun is attached the lam kalima will get sukun so that's how we say a is harf for istifham so zahabtunna did you go ila al madrasati al yawm did you go to madrasa today so zahab always comes with ila so azahabtunna ila al madrasati al yawm did you go to madrasa today so one of them says naam zahabna see naam zahabna for this affirmation so same thing here fa'il and fa'il noon is na is fa'il and zahab is the fa'il wa ataf raja'na and we return raja'a is return raja'na is because the noon is mutahrik pronoun is attached the lam kalima gets sukun this noon is represents nahnu so we all went we all went and we all returned so this is the end of conversation so we're just going to see uh the refresh ourselves with the masculine verbs and just trying to identify fa'il and fa'il zahaba abi ila al-qahira qahira means cairo the capital of egypt ila al-qahira di qabla usbu'in so zahaba is a fa'il so we're looking for fa'il so we're looking for the sign of marfu so how do we know which is the word which has uh, marfu here so look for here abi is what compound is this it is mudaf mudaf ilahi it is actually abu plus ya mutakallim so so we know this is marfu if it was who it is abu who so because of ya it becomes abi so this is the fa'il abu is fa'il and wa huwa mudaf ya mutakallim so my father went ila is harf jar al qahirati is ism majrur qabla is zarf and what comes after zarf is mudaf ilayhi qabla usbain my father went my father went to cairo one week before before one week we say mata kharajta when did you come out min al fasl kharaja comes with min min al fasl ya muhammad so it is addressed to in front of because we are telling a name of person so he is in front of us muhammad so it is mata kharajta so it is masculine that's why we will say it's mata even if there is no vowel signs we know it is kharajta it's not kharajti because muhammad is masculine it's not kharajat again because it is not talking about a feminine so it is mata kharajta min al fasl ya muhammad so it, again see here now we know how to analyze this it is not kharajta or kharaj t it is kharaj tu because you are answering so muhammad is telling kharaj tu i left ba'da darsi after the class it's ba'da is zarf and darsi is mudaf ilayhi so so if you see here zahabtu ila al masjid qabla al adhan so i went to masjid before the azan qabla al adhan qabla is zarf mudaf ilayhi so it is jumlat al fa'liya zahab is your fa'il 
to is filed ila al masjid jar majrur qabla zarf and all adhanis mudaf ilahi so we can analyze the whole sentence subhanallah so mata zahaba so again here we have to look for the fa'il and fa'il mata is zarf when zarf zaman is asking about time when zahaba zahaba is a fa'il so we're looking for the fa'il so here look here for dhamma is ammu uncle wa huwa mudaf ki mudaf ilahi ila al riyadi ya aminatu so when did your uncle go to riyad ya amina so zahaba so he went so so we know here there's no file taqdeer hu huwa qabla shahrin he went to a, a, a month before abad salat zahabta ila al matam did you go after salah to the restaurant بعد الظرف الصلاة مضاف إليه ذهب تا ذهب is a fail تا is a fail asking in front of you in front of us ذهب تا إلى المطعم لا so saying negation always a is answered with whether نعم or لا so we got لا ذهب تو so I went قبل الصلاة before الصلاة did you go after الصلاة he said no I went before الصلاة so this is how we use uh, just a different situation is aina zahabta ya akhi so where did you went oh brother oh my brother okay if it is one person if it is uh, plural jam'u we say aina zahabtum aina zahabtum ya ikhwani oh my brothers so if it is feminine we say aina zahabti ya ukhti where did you go my sister the so, aina zahabtunna where did you went ya akhawati my sisters so you say ana zahabtu nahnu zahabna so this is our practice for fa'il and fa'il for masculine and feminine so inshallah we will continue our next session assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh